Today we are doing some color mixing where we're going to be mixing the primary colors together to get secondary colors. Now the primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. And what makes them primary colors is that no two colors can mix to make red, no two colors can mix to make yellow, and no two colors can mix to make blue. However, when you mix primary colors together, like red and yellow, they create what are called secondary colors. And we're gonna, sh we're gonna color experiment to see what colors, what secondary colors we get when we mix primary colors together, okay? So in order to do this project, what you're going to need is a blank piece of paper and you can lay it down in landscape orientation. Landscape orientation meaning it's wide and fat. You're also going to need a small cup and you are also going to need a pencil and you can either use watercolors to color in to get your color mixing or if you don't have watercolors and only have crayons that's okay you can use crayons as well and I'll show you how to do both okay but the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get out that cup and that pencil and our piece of paper in landscape orientation and what we are going to do is, is we're going to put our pinchers on either side and we are going to fold that piece of paper in half from side to side and you're going to crease once it's folded in half you can unfold it so it shows that vertical line right down the middle. And then what we're going to do is we are going to take our cup and we are going to put it at the edge, right at the edge of one side of our piece of paper. And once it's towards the edge of our piece of paper, we can hold down our cup with one hand and then trace along the bottom edge of our cup with our pencil. So hold down the cup and then trace all the way around the bottom of your cup to create that circle. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take that cup and we're going to put the edge of that cup now at the fold right down the middle and having that cup overlap that end of our, our first circle. So once you have your cup right at the edge of our fold, overlapping our first circle, you can now trace out a second circle that slightly overlaps our first. So now we have two overlapping circles. Then what you're going to do is take that cup again and on the other side of that second circle we made, you're going to use the cup to slightly overlap the other side. Once it's slightly overlapping the other side of our second circle, hold down that cup and trace out a third. Beautiful. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take that cup and we're gonna slightly overlap our, the end of our third circle and we're going to trace out a fourth. So hold down your cup again and trace again another circle overlapping. So now we have four circles that overlap. Awesome job. All right, now's when we are now's when we're going to add our primary colors. And in between where they overlap, we'll see what secondary color it will make, okay? So if you are using watercolor, what you can do is you can get out your watercolors and your brush and water. And the first color you're going to use is the red primary color. So find your red watercolor and dip your paintbrush 
your wet paintbrush into the red. Get it fully on your bristles of your brush. And then you're going to use that red to fill in that first circle. So that circle all the way to our left, we're gonna fill in the full round circle, even the part that has been overlapped. Beautiful. Once you have that first circle filled in with our primary color of red, we can take our brush, we can put it in our water, press up, down, up, down to fully clean out our brush, okay? Then what you can do is you can find your second primary color, which is yellow. So find the yellow of your watercolor and dip your paintbrush into the yellow and swirl, 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 fully getting the yellow on your brush. Then what we're going to do is we are going to find that second circle. And what we are going to do is we're going to paint our yellow all the way around our circle, first in the white space, first and then after we fully completed the white space then we'll go into this overlap part so take your yellow on your brush and you are going to fill in that second circle filling in all the white space even that part that overlaps and you're going to go around and make sure that that white space of the second circles fill in all right now that it is now we get to take our yellow and fill in that in between overlapped part of our red. Go ahead. Wow, now what secondary color did it make? Red and yellow made, you're right, orange. Orange is the secondary color that red and yellow make when they mix together. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wash out our brush again so that it's fully clean. And then we're gonna go on to our third primary color, which is blue. And we are going to fill in our third circle with our third primary color, which is blue. And we are first gonna fill in all the white space on this side first, and then we'll use the blue to fill in that overlapped part. So let's find our blue in our watercolor, take your bristle brush and swirl, swirl, swirl into the blue watercolor. Once it's on your brush, once you have the blue on your brush, let's fill in that third circle with the blue first filling in all the white space, even that overlapped part on that side. And then once all the white space is filled with blue, then we can take the blue on our brush and we can start going into that overlap section with the yellow. All right, mix it, overlap it together. Now what secondary color did we get when we mixed yellow and blue? You're right, it made green. Green is the secondary color you get when you mix yellow and blue. All right. Our final circle, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use red to fill in that circle to see what we get when we mix red and blue together. Because we've mixed red and yellow, we've mixed yellow and blue. Now let's see what we get when we mix blue and red. So make sure that your brush is all cleaned out one more time. Find your red watercolor. Dip your paintbrush in the red, swirl, swirl, swirl. First fill in the white space of the circle. And then once you have filled that in, let's go ahead. I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in the water just to, to get uh, some of the red off and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to now take some of my red and I'm going to overlap it into that overlapped part with my blue. Now what secondary color 
do we get when we mix blue and red? You're right, it makes purple. Now this purple is a little bit weirder than our regular purple, but when you mix blue and red together, the secondary color that they make is purple. Okay, so if you had watercolor, you uh, can go ahead and finish up your color mixing rainbow using watercolor. However, if you did not have watercolor and you want, and you only have crayons, I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing using crayons. If you're finished with your watercolor one and you have crayons as well, you can also make a crayon one with us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get out that white piece of paper, we're gonna fold it in half by taking your pinchers on either side, folding it from side to side and crease. Then we're gonna open it back up. We're gonna get out that small cup and pencil. You're gonna line up that cup towards one edge of your paper. You're gonna hold down the cup and use the pencil to trace around to create your first circle. Then take the same cup, line it up with the fold, and have it overlap the edge of that first circle, and then trace out a second circle. Then take your cup again and your pencil, overlap that side of your second circle with your cup, and trace out a third, number three. And then our last step is on the other side of our third circle. We're gonna overlap our cup one more time, the last time, and we're gonna trace out our last and final circle. So you should have one, two, three, four circles overlapping each other. Now, instead of watercolor, let's use crayons. But we're only going to use our primary color crayons. So we only need a red crayon, a yellow crayon, and a blue crayon. Okay, those are the only crayon colors we're gonna use. And what we're gonna do is first, in this first circle, just like how we did our watercolor, I'm gonna take my red crayon and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use my best coloring. Best coloring meaning you're uh, coloring your crayon with small strokes back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, trying to fill in all the white space so overlapping your strokes, using small strokes to stay within that circle. Okay, I have filled in my first circle fully with red. Okay, then what you're going to do is in this second circle, you're gonna switch from red to yellow. So let's take our yellow crayon out and we are going to fill in the second circle fully with our yellow. So you can take your yellow crayon and use small strokes back, forth, back, forth, even going into the section that is overlapped and filling in that circle fully with our yellow crayon. All right, let's take a look. When we mixed our red with our yellow primary colors, what secondary colors did it make? You're right, it made orange. Even when we overlapped our crayons, our red and yellow crayons, it made that orange color. Awesome. Okay, our third circle next to yellow, we're gonna use our third primary color that we haven't used yet, we're gonna use our blue crayon. Okay, so you're gonna get out your blue crayon and in this third circle, we're gonna fill the entire circle with blue. So take out your blue crayon and color in 
even coloring in that overlapped section, going on top of the yellow and filling in that circle fully with our blue crayon. Even going into this section here, fully filling that full circle with blue, using small strokes back forth, overlapping to fully fill it in. All right, let's take a look. When we mixed yellow and blue together, what secondary color does yellow and blue make? You're right, it's green. We get green when we mix yellow and blue. All right, let's do our final circle with red again. And this time we're gonna see what happens when we mix red and blue. So let's get out our red crayon and in that last circle, the full circle, we're gonna take our red crayon, we're gonna even overlap our blue in that section and we're gonna fill the entire circle with our red crayon using small strokes back forth, back forth, filling in the white space. All right, let's take a look. What secondary color did we get when we mixed red and blue? Hmm, you're right, we got purple. Even though, again, this purple's a little bit funny, when we mix red and blue together, we get purple. Awesome job. So if you only had watercolors, you can fully finish up your color mixing with watercolors. If you had crayons, you can finish up your color mixing with crayons. Or if you had both, you can finish up both. Awesome job. I can't wait to see yours. Good luck.